And now for some of the other headlines from across the conference. This is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Cornerback Anton Exum could be back next week for Virginia Tech. That's just amazing. In January, in January, playing pickup hoops, he tore his ACL and broke his leg. Monday, he'll get a checkup and could be cleared to play next Saturday against North Carolina. That's incredible. Just about an eight-month recovery, and that will make Bud Foster's defense fifth in the nation even better. Reports say Mike Glennon is the new starting quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The NC State rookie gets his shot Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. He replaces Josh Freeman, who's really struggled during the Bucs 0-3 start. Glennon was the 73rd overall pick in the draft. An awesome idea from Mark Turgeon and the Maryland basketball program. The Terps are embracing nostalgia and going old school. They'll hold their midnight madness at Cole Fieldhouse next month. Maryland has not played there since moving into the Comcast Center 11 years ago. Lefty Drizel and Gary Williams both are calling this a great idea. Our closing number is 700. With Syracuse and Virginia winning Saturday, that's how many all-time wins both schools have. Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech could both reach 700 by the end of the season. Pitt could get there by the end of next season. And that's the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.